Hello and welcome back to another video. Today here again on the brand new Forza Motorsport game to take you through the full car list that is in this game at launch. So there is quite a lot of stuff in here, so most of it I'll just scroll past and stop for a bit longer on interesting things, um, like this Alpine GTA Le Mans, um, which returns, I don't think that's been seen since Motorsport 7. Um, or Horizon 3 that was also in. There's also some interesting selection of Astons. For example, the normal version of the Vulcan, if we can call it that, returns as well as the AMR Pro. Great to see the racing V12 Vantage back. But of course, I've got to stop and talk about the DBS. First car I bought in this game. So good to see that return after being absent from Horizon 5. Same with the V12 Vanquish. We haven't seen that in a Horizon game for a while. Um, so it's great to see that in here. I think it was in the previous motorsport game, as well as the V600 and DBS. Um, great to see all of these return. As you can see, I've purchased all of those straight away. Then we have some Audis, including some of the new electric ones and stuff that were added to Horizon recently, as well as, of course, more racing cars throughout this list than we have in the Horizon title, mostly. There are some slightly odd decisions through the list. Austin Healy 3000s, great to see back from Horizon 4. Pininfarina Batista is in here. Um, many Bentley racing cars, including the beautiful Speed 8 racing car. Got some BMWs, of course, many racing cars, uh, as well as the road cars we're familiar with from Horizon. That's interesting to see in here. Um, never made its way across to Horizon for some reason. So that's an interesting one. BMW Pro Car, I can't wait to drive that. Fun little thing. Um, but yeah, lots of classic racing cars and things as well. Obviously all of your Bugattis. Um, all of these Cadillacs are brand new for this iteration of Motorsport, these three racers. Um, and then we have the Caterham Superlight, complete with roll cage from Standard in this game. Corvette E-Ray, of course, one of the cover cars along with those Cadillac racers. So great to see that, as well as the Z06, um, where we only have the standard Stingray, um, this one, in Horizon. So great to see that, and um, the racing variant, of course, as well. So plenty of cool Chevrolets in here, um, as well as some more radical racing cars. Um, things like this Greenwood Corvette, it's great to see back again. Absolutely mad thing that was. We've got DS3 Racing, the return of the 2000 Roadster, um, lots of Dodges, including the Motorsport Viper, and the Dodge Dart. This never made its way across the horizon, I don't think, or the SRT4. These always seem to be in Motorsport, never really in Horizon, although they're very odd cars. Great to see the Dodge Shelby Omni return as well. Absolutely crazy um, Dodge tuned car, that thing. <laughs> well, Shelby tuned Dodge, I suppose. Of course, I have to shout out the Eagle Talon. Not sure why they feel the need to keep bringing that back. But anyway, that's their Exocet. Many, many Ferraris. Most of these the same as in Horizon. One thing you might be spotting here is that they've done away with most or I think actually all of the SUVs and pickup trucks that we usually see in motorsport games and of course in Horizon games. They seem to have got rid of all of those, which I suppose makes sense in the motorsport title. Moving on to Ford, we've got the Falcon uh, V8 supercar, we've got the GT Le Mans racer, great to see that in there. And this slightly weird looking um, Ford GT Daytona prototype as well. Of course we've got our touring cars, there's a nice selection of those throughout the list. And some interesting things like this Falcon, which is absent from Horizon these days. So good to see that in the motorsport titles. Um, we've got these Zack Speed Mustang and Capri, absolutely mad aero on those things. Great to see those return, um, as well as most of the other Fords that you'd expect to come across from Horizon. Got some Holdens, including another V8 supercar. Um, great to see. Plenty of touring cars. Another one here, um, the Honda as well as plenty interesting Hondas, like the Prelude, great to see that. Um, again, not driven that in a Forza game for a very long time, probably since Motorsport 7, I think it was in that game. Then we have the Hyundais, for some reason they're all still Velosters and not i20s or i30s, so it'd be great to see those added maybe at some point. Forza, please update some of your cars a little bit. Um, XJR9, I can't wait to get hold of, love those. Only two Koenigseggs is slightly disappointing couple of KTM crossbows, um, but with the KTM crossbow GT4 coming to Horizon soon in a car pack, be interesting to see whether that comes across or not. 
a Senza SCV-12 lovely thing. Not sure why some of the paint looks like it's gone a bit matte on that. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Anyway, many, many Lamborghinis, including the Cyan Coupe. We, of course, got the Roadster in Horizon not all that, well, nearly a year ago, I suppose, at this point. Um, but we have the Coupe in Motorsport. So that's a good one to see. Hopefully I'll drive that at some point. As well as many other Lamborghinis like the Diablo GTR and Diablo SV. Great to see the little drama back as well. Um, that was last seen in Horizon 4, never made its way across to Horizon 5. So good to see that back. Lotus Amira is really good to see in here. That was, of course, in a paid pack in Horizon. Um, but it's in the base game of Motorsport. Interestingly rated at the top of B-Class from standard that is quite interesting um of course you've got some of the lotus racers as well and the esprit v8 it's good to see back that's also absent from horizon 5. now we get onto one of the interesting ones the maserati mc12 for some reason they've taken the decision to put the road going mc12 in this game but not the mc12 corsa whereas in horizon they've put the racing one but not the road-going one. It just seems a little bit back to front to me. Not sure why they've done that. Ghibli Cup is back. That always seems to be in motorsport, but not in Horizon, as do several of these vintage racers. Then we've got the Mazdas. Obviously, many MX-5s, but also Formula Mazda. That's always fun to see in here. And the Speed Source Lola Mazda, uh, as well as plenty of RX-7s. And, of course, the 787B. Always great to see in any game. RX-3 is interesting to see as well. That did eventually come to Horizon 4, but never Horizon 5, so that's good to see in here. Obviously got a whole selection of McLarens, including the 620R track car. I don't know if it's just me, but for some reason the McLaren GT in these games always looks like the nose lift is up. It always just looks a bit too high. Maybe it's because it's the GT, it is just a bit higher. McLaren P1 GTR also makes a return here, um, of course never being in the Horizon games, as well as all the other iconic McLarens you expect to see, including some of these brilliant Formula 1 cars and other mad things like Can-Am cars and such. Mercedes AMGs, of course Mercedes AMG 1 in a motorsport game for the first time, being the Horizon 5 cover car. Same with the Black Series, that's brand new to motorsport. I think that might be as well, the AMG GT 4-door. That was a prize car back in Horizon 4. We then, of course, have Mercedes-Benz, because they like to split them weirdly, including some more touring cars, as well as some of our favourite racers. Uh, racers? Road cars. Um, that's interesting to see, the C32 AMG. That was always a traffic car in old Horizon games. So that's interesting that that seems to be in motorsport games, but not a car in Horizon as well as plenty of racing cars and a Mercury. Um, interestingly though, a lot of these cars' headlights seem to be blacked out in these images, which is a bit of a shame. Great to see the little MGB GT in here. Um, got some Minis, some Mitsubishis, plenty of Evos, ancient car models, because this is of course built from the ground up, um, including this 1999 Mitsubishi, which was modelled probably in about 1999. Um, Neo EP9, um, of course a new car to Horizon as well. First time that's been in motorsport, as is the Nissan Z and the GTR Nismo, I believe. Plenty of new cars have been added to Horizon in the five years it's been since the previous motorsport title, so a whole load of new cars. While we're talking about ancient models, when they claim it's a from the ground up game, Nissan Silvia is still the model from those very early Forza games. Um, Nissan R91CP. Great to see so many Group C cars in here. Hopefully do something with some of those at some point. Um, maybe a little... Maybe one of our race series months will be that sort of thing. Um, once everyone's got a bit more used to how the game works. 308 GTI. I'm never quite sure why that's in these games. Um, but that's returning to motorsport again. The 905 Evo, one of the latest, well, Group C cars before that category went away, I believe. Um, so that's always an interesting one. That is quite an interesting car to drive. Uh, can't wait to have a go in that. Um, one of the only interesting Peugeots ever. Uh, and then we have some Pontiacs, some Porsches. Of course, the Taycan and the Mission R were in Horizon 5 for the first time, as was this generation of 
GT3 and the Speedster. Um, so great to see so many um, new to motorsport Porsches in here. Um, like I say, it's been a while since the previous motorsport game. So just the kind of new cars added to the two Horizon games we've had since then um, gives us quite a lot of new vehicles for a motorsport title. Another Group C car, uh, the Porsche 962C. Um, so that'll be great fun to race, hopefully at some point. Got some 356s, of course, and a 550 Spider. We've got Radical and the Razor. Not terribly excited by either of those. Whole load of Renault hatchbacks, which of course are also in Horizon. Some Celines, some Shelbys, some Subarus, including my favourite of the touring cars, the Lavorg, because it's a Subaru estate touring car. I mean, what more could you want? Um, of course, loads of other Impressors. Another ancient model, unfortunately, the 22B, which is a shame because it's a lovely car. Um, then we have some Toyotas, including a Z4 Coupe, of course, and some racing cars. That looks mad. <laughs> Can't wait to try that thing out. That looks crazy. Might have to save a bit more credits before we get all of these, but given we're not paying anything for upgrades, that won't take very long. Another touring car, the Astra, um, as well as an older Astra. That's interesting to see. I don't think we ever really see that in Horizon games. Lotus Carlton, of course, and some Golf R's. That one, the 2022, I believe that's the one that's about to be in the new paid pack in Horizon. So given we can already drive that in this game, that seems a little bit odd. I really wish they would sort some of these headlights out, though. They're all blacked out at the moment. Let's hope that gets patched. That's the only Volvo that is slightly disappointing. No racing truck. That would have been great in here, the Iron Knight. I think that's... Am I right in saying that's only ever been in Horizon 4? Then we've got the X-Peng, of course, and the Zenvo. Again, we only have the one with the wobbly wing and not the other one. And that is your car list here on Forza Motorsport. I believe there's just over or just under maybe... 500 vehicles in this uh, launch, uh, which is actually less than Horizon 5 had. Um, but I think it's a reasonable selection of vehicles. Uh, some great racing cars back in there, as well as some interesting uh, additions and things like the DBS, of course. That's the one I'm most excited to see return after being absent in Horizon 5. But there you go. That is the car list at launch. And that is going to be all for today's video. So thank you very much for watching and I will be back with the next one very soon. Mm -hmm.